This ceremony is a very good way to begin the year. And I extend my appreciation to the Minister for Special Development Initiatives, Honorable Mavis Howard Kumson, Member of Parliament for Utu Senya East, and the Minister for Health, Honorable Kwaku Ajima Menu, Member of Parliament for Doma Central, for the dynamism and hard work they've exhibited in bringing it to fruition. Ladies and gentlemen, good health is fundamental to all we do and hope to do. Access to quality health care is hence a right enshrined in our national constitution. However, this constitutional right can best materialize if we are able to guarantee the presence of pre-hospital emergency services in all parts of the country. With the National Ambulance Service having 130 stations and 10 regional control rooms across the country, it was sad to note that when I took office in January 2017, the service had only 55 semi-functioning ambulances. Government is committed to ensuring the realization of an effective emergency medical service EMS system to help improve our country's emergency response capabilities. The simulation exercise undertaken a few months ago is proof of the preparedness and readiness of our emergency medical technicians through the efficient use of these ambulances to help save lives. I call upon all regional ministers, metropolitan, municipal and district chief executives as well as all health officials to provide the needed cooperation and support to make the operationalization of these ambulances a success and also ensure their satisfactory maintenance. The goal of this government is to establish in our country a strong, accessible health care system of world-class quality which will assure the health and well-being of our people. And I entreat all of you to be an integral part of this vision. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, Nime, Name, Nananom, I declare the 307 ambulances duly commissioned and ready for distribution. <laughs>